In recent times, we've seen the rise of what AI can do, from super computational calculations all the way down to high quality imaginative design. And one sector that most people have ventured into the use of AI is image optimization and beefing up resolution. 3D artists and photographers have always taken advantage of this to oppress their images and also 3D render, which now leaves the 2D community a little undercared for. But all this is now in the past, all thanks to the real Essagan from Zenato and the real Essagan Batfire from CGPs. For anyone who would like to get this, you can simply come over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can download this file. Now, the beautiful thing about this one is it is an open source file, which means that you can pick it up you can do whatever you want and you can actually contribute to this now the recent version which is the real sgan 0.2.5.0 file now comes with a good set of features and improvements this is available for windows linux and mac it is also worth mentioning that if you choose to download the windows file then you don't need to compile it as cgps has actually done something that is worth it so cgps has created the bat file which you need to download this downloads as a zip file and at the same time if you go over to the github you need to download the windows file which also downloads as a zip file and once you download the zip files you need to extract them into a given folder these files need to exist in the same folder before you can get this to work so what we've done is we've gotten a selection of several kinds of images so we're going to start off with the very first one which is a gif file by simply double clicking you can see that we have simba right here and it is at the hundred percent of what it can ever be right now and this simply means that this image quality is low and if you go over to the details section let's scroll all the way down and take a look at the file info you can see it is pretty low for a file that you might probably want to trace or do something with but then let's see what real sgan can do for us because all we need to do is just click go right here where we have the bat file and drop it right in there and once we do that automatically this is going to process it and give us a better looking image i mean look at what we have at 62 percent versus what we have before at a hundred percent so in terms of gif images they work and they work really really well so you might have also noticed that this produces a png image which is also good now let's take a look at fin and see what we can do with that and the reason why we're looking at thin is because we have lots of colors, you know, spot colors going on here and there. And we're just going to see if this AI actually recognizes this and what it can produce with it. So I'm just going to click, run through, drop it right there, and let's see what it does. And right here, we have it. So it looks like this understands what we are looking for. So it understands the assignment pretty well. So let's zoom right in and get this at 100 and you can see all of that spots. We get to find them. Of course, there are some that are really, really not visible. Like if you zoom all the way in here, you probably don't see this particular spot. I don't know if you can see that, but for the major spots that you want, you will definitely see them. And you would also notice that in situations like so, where we have this very tiny looking stuff, the AI sort of computed some lines right here. So it does a very good job at producing something that is of high quality, especially for 2D artists that might be looking for references or probably have a lower resolution of images that they would like to upscale a little bit more. So now that we've taken a look at two likely vector images, let's look at what the Clip Studio Paint, you know, more of a painting image would produce. So I'm going to pick this and drop that right in here. And once I do that, let's get this processing. So this is also super nice. You know, it checks that list, which is really, really good. So if I open that one more time this is what we had and this is what we have at 73 percent and this is what we have 100 percent i mean this is just phenomenal so we've explored the paintings we've explored the vectors let's see what happens with drawings i'm just going to look at this one so we can flip between these two. i think this is pretty clean so it's going to be an easy job for the ai let's explore with this one so i'm just going to pick the girl drawing and drop it right in there and let's see what we get in 543 all right so if you make very tiny sketches or you did have some sketches from way back, I think with something like this, this is going to come in handy, especially if you like to oppress it and get those perfect inking lines looking cleaner. This would look super nice with that. So one thing which I did try, which I think I'm also going to try here, is with low resolution images. And if we plug this in, I did notice that it goes ahead to up -res it, but it doesn't give us anything that looks better off. And you can still see that it has all that jagged line, but it doesn't really produce anything that is worth using in terms of photograph images, or should I say renders. Probably for renders, there might be a little bit of something going on there, but with photographs that have lots of 
anti-aliasing happening here and there, this doesn't work properly. This tool is sort of squarely targeted for the 2D community. So if we also pick an anime character and we drop that right in here, let's see what we can get. It produces something that is even way better. And finally, we'll be looking at this image. If you do have a photograph like this, that is considered to have lots of paintings going on and not highly pixelated, probably is just a low resolution image and not a heavily pixelated image. If you throw in that, you will definitely get a better result with it. So you can see what you get, but the downside to this better result in quotes is the fact that this automatically changes it to a painterly image. So if I go ahead and open this up, you can see what we have and you can see it right here. So if you're thinking about, let's say, painting over or using these as references, of course you can. And if you're working with the XNView Classic, you can add this as an associated program with it. So at any point you open an image with the XNView Classic, you can simply go over to open, open with and select the real as a guy. And with that, you can now oppress your images anytime you simply open them with your default image viewer, which will probably be XN View Classic. Furthermore, if you would like to re oppress an image, you can simply oppress the image. And in a situation where we're looking at this koala, we still don't get that visual fidelity like we want. So, what do we do? We re oppress the image. And in this case, you can now see that this is looking extremely nice. And you can proceed to vectorize this however you want. The folks at CGPs and also Zenato has done something that is super incredible. And for anyone who likes to pick it up, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab it for yourself. The fact that this is super free and available to anyone that would like to use it and as well it is open source is just amazing tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace